get uh, the FT1D uh, when you first switch it on you have to put your call sign in using the dial wheel at the top here this one and the, uh, the F key and the enter key and the PTT input your call sign I've done most of mine already at M3OI if you make a mistake to remove the character to the left it's the F key and to enter the character it's the enter key at the bottom so mine's M3OI where is it? I push the enter so it's M3OI and then push the dock PTT right that's that bit done Okay, inserting the SD card will take 2 gig, 4 gig, 8 gig, 16 gig, or 32 gig. Goes inside here in this little flap here. Insert the SD card, click in place. Okay, now to get it out, just push it in again, click out. If you've got long fingernails, you might better pull it out, but there's a little tool I give you, a little plastic tool in there, unless you haven't lost it, which you can use that to pull it out. Formatting the micro SD card, turning the dial knob here on the display, if you're not on display, holding the display button there, hold it in, turn to Number 10, enter, and down to number 4, format, and enter, and then you got format, OK, obviously I'm going to click cancel because obviously I've already formatted enter for council. Don't want to format it because I've got information on it at the moment. That's how you format the card. To adjust the volume, holding the volume knob here, turning the dial wheel up here. Let's hold that in and to adjust the volume. That's on the top A. Change the B that one in and that's the volume for B. If you touch it quick click on the volume it comes up mute. Selecting a frequency band push band It'll take you through the different bands. I want two meters at the moment so we'll stick to this one at the moment to practice keying in the frequencies in a minute. Enter frequency using the keys. Let's say one, four, five. The decimal comes up on its own. Four, five, zero come up on its own. Yeah, one four five four fifty. TX power adjustment. Push the F key. TX power is on number one. You got high, which is five watt. We got here low one. 0 0.1 watt, low 2 is 1 watt, low 3 is 2.5 watt, and then high 5 watt. Push the PTT, 
to select. Right, put the uh, top one there, 145, into the memory bank. I'll keep it, uh, push that A and B in, puts it to the one screen. You push the F key and hold it down for more than one second. And you get the top left hand corner. You'll get um, the memories come up there. I'm going to put it in number 18 there. Push the F key to confirm. Now that should be in memory 18 now. So you push the VM button there, change it to memory mode, and there it is. MR 18145450. Name in the memory channel. Hold down the set display button. Go to memory free. Press enter. Three again, memory name, enter. Now you can either use the dial knob at the top, change the letters, or you can use the number keys at the bottom. And I, I use the uh, the dial. I want to name this one um, S18 on this one. So it's enter. Find the numbers. One, enter, S18, enter, PTT. Now we name the 145-450-S18. That's uh, putting the name in the memory. Tip. Showing the voltage and the time on the screen. Push the F key and the AB, and there you are. Voltage and the times on the screen. Setting up a repeater. I'll do the Folkestone one, uh, 145750. As you can see, the minus has already come up there. Uh, that's because it's got a uh, ARS auto repeat shift. So you can check all that in your config. Hold down your display set button. Go into number eight. Config. Enter. Go to number 14. ARS enter and obviously mine switched on and you need number 15 which is the repeater shift that's minus plus simplex leave it on minus repeater shift frequency is number 16 uh, I leave that alone because it's on 600 megahertz, which I want anyway. Right, come out of that. To check that it's actually working, you can push the F key and number 5, reverse. Yeah, 145, 150. Come back out. <coughs> um, to switch on the tone squelch to open up the repeater is display set up again. Go to number four, signaling, enter. 
uh, number 11, squelch type, off, tone, tone squelch. Push to PTT, save it. So now we've got TS squelch on there. So when I key the mic, it should open up the first and repeater. Let's see if it works. It's not working at the moment. Okay, let's see why it's not working. Somebody's on the photon repeater now and we're not hearing anything. Yeah, I've got the tone squelch. Right, so I think we'll go back into the, the menu. Uh, signaling number four. Are we on it already? Enter. And then go to number 12. Enter. Ah. Ah, the time squelch for the photon repeater was 103.5. Change it to 103.5. And then push the push the talk key. Come back out of that. Hopefully. Uh, volume. Right, volume. You won't get so many pop-ups then. Here we go. That's now working. Yeah, so you've got to make sure you've got the um all the squelch and uh four signaling four twelve uh tone squelch frequency right and uh then the way we go. To put the frequency into your memory, press and hold the F key, turn your dial knob down corner to what number you want to put it in. I'm going to put my number six and then push the F key to confirm. Go into the memory. Push the VM into the memory. There are number six in the memory. To name the memory Push and hold down display set. And go into number three, which is memory. Push enter. Go into memory. Oh, number three, it's on there already. Name, enter. And then put the name what you want to put in. This in this case this is G. A, B, C, D, F, G. Enter B using the top wheel line number three GB three FK we want whoops wrong one push the F key I believe to go back Enter. Be right for the alphabet, wouldn't it? <laughs> A B C D E F G. A B C D E F G. Here we go, got it in the end. Enter PTT to save. You can actually go to the uh, Yesu, www.yesu.com, which is the American site. Click files, or click obviously on this radio, FT1. Click the files, you can actually download FT1 DR oblique DE. ADMS slash six programming software for free and any manuals you need. Right, to save all your data to the SD card, press and hold down display set and go into number 10 SD card, 
number one back up and write to SD card but I don't want to do that because my SD card in the, my radio at the moment is all my frequencies are done earlier on so I shall uh, pull out of it so it's council that's it that's how you do it restoring defaults or factory reset if uh, things need a reset after mucking the radio up hold these three keys down while turning on the radio Reset all, push the F key. That's it, and you need to put your call sign in again. <laughs> 